What's good on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is Tier List Tuesday. So let's roll that intro and get right into it. All right, YouTube, thank you for clicking on this video that you're watching right now. And as always, it's our Tuesday tradition as of late, and it is Tier List Tuesday. And as you know by the title, we are ranking Christmas movies for this episode because Christmas for all my Christians out there and people who celebrate Christmas, it is Christmas this Sunday, so I thought it was only fitting. But before we start, I got to lay some stuff down. So for the ranking, keep in mind, it goes from S to, I think, never seen, or no, S to terrible, never seen, C, B, A. So that's how it's going to go. And also, in the comments, don't come after me. This is my opinion, and just stand by it, and I hope you enjoy it. But that is enough talk. Let's get straight on to the rankings. Up first is A Wonderful Life, the Christmas movie. And I honestly have never seen this movie. So that only leaves one category for it. And that's going in the never seen category. But if you have seen it, comment down below if I should watch it and give me your thoughts. Another movie we haven't seen. Um, this is kind of surprising because I know a lot of people have seen this and this is a lot of people's favorite or probably not their favorite Christmas movie, but one of their tops. But it is The Nightmare Before Christmas with Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington? Is that his name? I think that's his name. But I would consider this more of a Halloween-themed movie. But I guess it's Christmas. It has it in the title. So, like I said for the last one, comment below if I should watch this and your thoughts about it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the cartoon, is a great classic Christmas movie. The animation is perfect. It's way before its time, honestly. I think this came out in, like, the 60s. I can't remember the exact date. But I'll put it up on the screen so you guys know when it came out but this is one of the best christmas movies gotta watch it like every year and for that reason i'm gonna put the classic rudolph under the b category because it is definitely not an a or s for me and i feel like b is appropriate next up is miracle on 34th Sh i cannot say that today but miracle on 34th street there we go we said it perfectly but I'm going to be honest, another movie we haven't seen is going under Never Seen. Next, we have A Christmas Story, and this is one of my mom's most favorite movies. This is one of the most telecasted Christmas movies of all time. They play it all day during Christmas time, which obviously it is right now because I wouldn't be doing this like 4th of July season. You know what I mean? But for The Christmas Story, this movie is okay. It's not one of my favorites, which we'll get there eventually. But for A Christmas Story, I'm also going to cut going to put this in b i'm messing up a lot of my words here but i'm not going to edit it out because you guys probably like to see me mess up so b for a christmas story home alone one okay the home alone series from one and two everything after that sucked so we're only going to rank one and two but for home alone one this one i think they go to i don't forget where they go um i think it's paris the first one right i think that's where the mccallisters go the first time but for Home Alone 1, since it's a classic and everybody loves it, I love it. I'm going to put it under A for Home Alone 1. This is a perfect movie when Kevin wished his family would disappear and the McAllisters were gone because they forgot about him. And that also happened in the second one. But speaking of the second one, let's get on to the second one. The second Home Alone is one of my personal favorite Christmas movies of all time. And for that reason, it's going under the S category. Our first S, and I feel like this is just a perfect Christmas movie. Kevin, Kevin McAllister, I was going to say Kevin Home Alone, but Kevin from Home Alone, you know what I mean. But Kevin McAllister is once again left at home when his family goes to Florida. I think, yeah, Miami, Florida, because it was raining a lot. I might have these movies flipped, or like the where the McAllisters went. If so, leave them in the comments. I'll try to find like it on the screen to correct myself. But when Kevin was lost in New York, there was just so many good scenes in that from him throwing bricks at Harvin Mer what's Harvin what's his other name? Harvin Murray? Is that his name? Oh no, I'm gonna look this up. This is like Harv and Harvin Marv? No, there's no way that's right. Marv and um Murray. Murray. That might be right. Marvin Harry. That's it. That's it. You guys saw some live me typing over here. That's why I looked over here and you can see this hand. But Marvin and Harry from Home Alone get absolutely demolished in this one. If you guys don't know who they are, I'll put a picture up for you guys. But great movie. We even see a 
cameo from WWE Hall of Famer, former president of the United States, Donald Trump, down the hall to the left. If you guys don't know that scene, I'll put a clip up real quick. If, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Wait, no, scratch that. I'm not going to put a clip. I'll just put a picture up because I think I'm going to get copyrighted. But for Home Alone 2, like I said, it's going in the S category. But what's the next movie? Next is Will Ferrell's Elf. And this movie is also going in the S category because I love it. Not many people like like Will Ferrell, but like this movie. So it has to be somewhat good for a lot of people. But just the scenes in this are perfect. Um, when the black guy, I, that's I forget, he doesn't have a name. So yeah, I don't know how else to address him. But he says... 10 a.m. Santa's coming for town and Buddy yells, Santa! That scene, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen Buddy the Elf. I'll post a picture on the side of the screen here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But, so, for Buddy the Elf, with all this stuff, oh my gosh, all the great scenes in this movie, especially the snowball scene where um, Buddy chucks all the snowballs at people, like, very fast. Speaking of that scene, I uploaded a new TikTok with that scene. So follow the TikTok, link in the description. But for Buddy the Elf, I'm also, like I said, putting this in the S category. Also on the tier list ranking for Christmas movies, we have Ernest's Christmas Special. And I'm gonna be honest, I have not seen this movie since I was a little kid, probably like six or seven years old. And that was like 10 years ago. But for that reason, just cause I don't remember it, I'm gonna put it in the C category just because I really don't remember it. Also on our tier list ranking for Christmas movies, we have honestly one of my favorites, and that is the Good Luck Charlie Christmas movie. If you guys don't know what Good, Char Good Luck Charlie was, I cannot talk like I previously mentioned, but Good Luck Charlie was a Disney show that happened back from or like around 2014, 2013, around that time frame when I was a little JV. But this movie is good. It has all the characters that you know and love from Good Luck Charlie, Teddy, uh, PJ, all of them, Gabe. But they go to Arizona to, uh, with their, I think it's Arizona. I could be wrong, but I think it's Arizona. Like I said, I'll put if I was wrong on the screen somewhere. But they go to Arizona to visit their grandparents and then they eventually get captured and like play this video game in real life. I forget what it's called, I completely forget, but if I find it, I'll put it on the screen. But it's like a big ping pong thing that happens with Gabe and his dad, it's just crazy. But for that reason, I'm gonna put this movie honestly under an A. I enjoy watching this every year. Another great Christmas movie is up, and that is The Polar Express. If you haven't seen The Polar Express, go watch it right after you're done watching this. But this is an instant classic. Oh my gosh, I love this movie. This brings back some fond memories from my elementary school days, back in like 20, 4, 2013, 2012 maybe? 2011, 2012, I think is when I was in second grade. But, I remember in one of my teacher's classrooms that shall not be named in case they're watching this and they don't want their name said for whatever reason. But I was in my second grade history teacher's room and we were watching this. I remember we got hot chocolate with marshmallows in it and then we watched the Polar Express all day long. But for that reason, for the memory and the nostalgia and just the overall great movie, I'm gonna put this movie under A as well. The Charlie Brown Christmas, okay. Charlie Brown is great, no matter what season it is, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and now Christmas. But for the Charlie Brown Christmas special, this movie, honestly, I think is one of the best Christmas movies. For an animation, it's not one of the best, like long Christmas movies, like Home Alone, Elf, like we previously ranked, but for the Charlie Brown Christmas special, I'm gonna put this under B just because it's not that long and I wish it was longer. Next is the Grinch, the Jim Carrey version because I could not find the normal Grinch. So we're gonna talk about, we're gonna do a two for one thing. The normal Grinch animated, I'm gonna put under C because I don't have a fond memory of watching it. But the Grinch, Jim Carrey is one of the best. And for that reason, I'm gonna put it under B because I have not seen it in a while. And yeah, that's gonna be my reasoning. It would be under C, but I feel like the animation for the Grinch would be better to put there. And then Jim Carrey's version in B. But that might be people's favorite Christmas movie of all time, because that arguably is, I know a lot of people that like that the most. But like I said, we're gonna put the Grinch, Jim Carrey in B. And we're gonna put the animation in C. Another two for one deal here. We have Mickey Mouse's Once Upon a Christmas and Twice Upon a Christmas. And all right, we're gonna first obviously start with Once Upon a Christmas. And this one is not as good as the second one. 
And for that reason, have I ever seen this actually? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if I've seen it. I probably have. But for that reason, I'm going to put it under C because I just don't have a fond memory, like I said, for previous rankings. But for Mickey Mouse, Twice Upon a Christmas, this is one of the best Christmas movies, in my opinion. And for that reason, I'm going to put it under A. It's just a classic, in my opinion. I remember watching this on VHS as a kid. Next up is the Santa Claus series. Okay, so the Santa Claus movies are a great trilogy. I think it was three of them. I don't think there was more than three. But they had some great Christmas movies while they came out, and they are some classics nowadays. But I don't remember watching them all in detail, so I can't really give a brief description. I remember the one with Jack Frost. I think that was the third and finale one, or maybe the second one. I don't remember. But for the Santa Claus series, I'm going to go with a B ranking. Because I feel like there was one in there that wasn't as good as the rest. So that brings it down. So we're going to go with B for the Santa Claus series. And lastly, we have Christmas Vacation. Oh, this is one of the best. Oh my God, I love this movie. This is one of my favorite Christmas movies. It started to be one of my favorite because back then, like a couple, like five years ago, I was not a big fan of this, but I watched it more and more over the Christmases year by year from like 2017 on. And it has earned its way all the way up to an A tier movie. It's just one of my favorites. And it's an instant classic. If you haven't watched it, what are you doing? Just watch it. But like I said, it's going in the A ranking. And let's go on to the outro because we are done here. All right, guys, that is it for our Christmas movie tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed because you know I did. I'll put the tier list final ranking right above me or above me, the video, right now. So you guys know the final rankings, how it all ended up. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment what I should do for next week's tier list. And who knows, you might be picked because we don't have many people to comment. So there's a good chance you might be picked unless I have another good idea. But so long, it's always JV. I'll be back tomorrow for some sort of video. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I think we're going to try to do the 200 subscriber special. I think, don't quote me on that because that's been hard to do as of late because based on clips and stuff that I have. But like I said, see you tomorrow. Take care all. Sincerely, JV.